and welcome to Jazz Guitar Chord Melody Part 39. Hi, I'm Mike Hayes, and in today's PAC program, we'll be revisiting an old friend of ours, the minor six chord. And I'll be demonstrating some new ways to think about this chord and how to apply it over a standard chord progression. I think you'll be pretty pleased with the results. It creates some really beautiful sounds. We'll also be going back and looking at ways to create movement on the major sixth chord. We have covered some of this in a previous video, but I have some new ideas for you today. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. Okay, time to grab your guitar and let's get started. So far, we know that the C sixth chord can function as an A minor seventh. The notes in a C sixth chord are C, E, G, A. And the notes in an A minor seventh chord are A, C, E, G. In fact, the A minor seventh chord is simply an inversion of the C sixth chord. And we also know that the C6 can function as an F major 9. For instance, a C6 with an F bass would have the notes F, A, C, E, G. And that's the exact same notes that would be in an F major 9th chord. In today's session, we're going to shift our attention momentarily over to the C minor 6th chord and take a closer look at this versatile chord and discover new ways that we can think about and apply this chord to our harmonic palette. OK, let's do a quick review. The C minor 6th contains C, E flat, G and A. They are also the same notes as an A minor 7 flat 5. Once again, the notes in an A minor 7 flat 5, A, C, E flat and G, are simply another inversion of the C minor 6th. In a previous video, we also looked at the idea that we could play the minor 6th chord on the 5th of a dominant 7th chord, and this would produce the sound of a dominant 9th chord. So a C minor 6th with an F bass would contain the notes F, A, C, E flat, G. And these, of course, are the same notes that are found in an F dominant 9th chord. Right then, well that's where we're up to so far. Now we're ready to take it a step further. So one of the ways that I might do this is to take something we already know. For example, we know that the C minor 6th can be used as an F 9th. So I might ask myself, what would be the tritone of F 9th or F 7th? Now by a tritone, I mean the flattened 5th of F, which in this instance would be B. So following that line of thought, if I played a C minor 6th over a B bass, I would produce the sound of a B7 sharp 5 flat 9. Now some of you are probably thinking, in good grief, that sounds really complicated and it's probably a good time to take a hot lemon drink and off to bed. But if you rewind this section of the tape a few times, the whole thing will become a lot clearer. And the good thing is, you already know the shape of the C minor 6th, which we're also going to be calling a B7 sharp 5 flat 9. OK, let's have a look at what we're dealing with here so we can get an understanding of how we're arriving at this B7 sharp 5 flat 9. So we'll take a C minor 6th chord shape, and here are the notes that are under our fingers. Now, if I'm thinking in terms of a B7 sharp 5 flat 9, here's what the intervals would look like. So it's the same shape, 
On the first string we have the note G, which in relation to B7 would be the sharp 5. On the second string the C would be the flat 9. The third string the A would be the flat 7 for the dominant 7. And on the fourth string we'd have D sharp, which would be the third of B7. So the only note that's not under our fingers there is the note B. And now it's time to apply this information so you can get an idea of how this sounds. For this example I'm going to use a 2-5-1 progression in the key of E. That will be one bar of F sharp minus 7. I'm going to use our new B7 sharp 5 flat 9 chord as the 5 chord and then two bars of E6. And as we play through the progression, each time I'm going to start on a higher F sharp minor. So we'll be doing the same chord progression, but just gradually moving the 2 5 1 progression up the fingerboard. Here goes. <laughs> I think you'll agree that the B7 sharp 5 flat 9 is a welcome addition to our chord vocabulary. In that example that you've just heard, the E6 is sustained for two bars. And what we're going to do is look at different ways of creating some movement. Sometimes you'll want the chord to be sustained, other times you'll want to respond to other members in the band or the musical situation that you're in. And now I'd like to introduce another concept that'll help you create movement on a major chord. Now it's a very simple concept. Uh, with a major sixth chord, you can move to another major sixth chord a fifth away. And how that works is that if you're playing C sixth, you can move between C sixth and G sixth. Just to give you an idea of how this sounds, I've prepared a couple of tracks here for you to practice with. The first one is where the bass is playing C, a C pedal tone right throughout the whole track, and I'm moving between C6 and G6. Let's try that first.
let's do the same thing, that is moving between the C6th and the G6th chord, only this time the bass is going to play a G pedal tone all the way through, and you'll hear when the bass plays the 5th of the chord, it creates a wider sound. We have more space in the music. Right then, let's go back to our 251 in E and we'll apply all the concepts we spoke about in this session. So we'll have F sharp minor 7th for the first bar, B7 sharp 5 flat 9 in the second bar, and then for the E6, we'll practice moving from E6 to B6 just to create some movement there. And that's that concept we've just practiced now where we're moving from a major 6th chord to another major 6th chord that's a 5th away. Here we go. Well, that's all for this session, folks. I do hope you found something that's of interest in this video, and maybe there's something there that you can use in your own music. Don't forget, if you have any questions or comments, 
to put them in the comments section below this video. And as always, I look forward to catching up with you again next time. Bye for now.